We mentioned that we were getting reports of some minor storm damage across North Texas. WFAA's Malini Basu is out surveying the scene for us tonight. She is live in North Dallas. So Malini, tell us what you found. Uh, Teresa, fast and furious. That storm hit this building around 3.30. Take a look at this over here. Thankfully, the 59-year-old woman who owns this car was not inside the car. I just finished speaking to her a short time ago, but you can see how intense the storm was. The bricks just came crashing down on her infinity. So I have a couple stories to tell you here. And Sam, if you could just show everybody. If you look down below here, do you see this window right here? The person that was living inside of this apartment, he was just here on scene and he told me, I just moved out of this apartment two weeks ago. Can you imagine? Thankfully, no injuries reported here. We're here at the Holland Apartments on Royal Lane right here in North Dallas. So I was also talking to another neighbor here. She tells me just around 3.30, she heard the loud thunder and when all the bricks came crashing down. That's when she immediately went door to door, knocking on people's doors and telling them, be careful, there's a storm, there's a storm. She wanted to warn everybody. Thankfully, a lot of people living here. I mean, I am being told by some neighbors that um, they aren't home for the long holiday weekend, but it's a long walk. But on the other side of this building, would you believe it's the same scenario? The bricks just came crashing down and thankfully also no injuries reported there. And while we were here on scene, we saw firefighters and also Dallas police officers, and they're all sharing the same story. They were going from call to call to call. Now, this was one intense storm. Now, coming up at the 10 o'clock hour, I did speak to that 59 year old woman who owns this car. The story behind that, and she is just so thankful to be alive. For now, we are live in North Dallas. I'm at Malini Basu. Malini, so glad to know that she's okay and those neighbors helping neighbors. You and I spoke earlier before you were headed out to that yeah. scene. Tell us what it was like driving from your part of Dallas uh, over to that scene. Or did you see power outages? What were you seeing across, across the area? Yeah, actually, you know, Teresa, I was actually um, keeping our content editor, Matt, in the loop. They're telling him that, look, we're trying to get there. But the problem is because there were so many traffic lights that were down. And so obviously, you know, it's a stop and go, stop and go. We saw just obviously debris everywhere. I mean, it was intense even driving through that. And kudos to our photographer, Sam Cooper, for, you know, driving through that intense storm as well. And obviously we got here. Everyone is safe and sound. And we hope that everyone is at home as well.